And here he comes. Double the gold, double the bragging rights. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds. One half of the Raw Tag Team Champions and the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. I can't imagine the amount of pressure he's feeling carrying around two championships. Yeah, the pressure is on when you have one title, but with two, it has to be immense. Hauling around two titles does put a huge target on his back, though. Everyone wants a piece of him, a shot at one of those titles, but he's holding on with a vice-like grip. Here's someone who always has a plan and always knows who he's dealing with. It's Seth freaking Rollins. Think of everything Seth Rollins has been through. Everything he's accomplished, he can adapt to any situation. And from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, the hardcore champion, Seth. He's arrogant, he's abrasive, but he's also really freaking good. And he has the titles and main events to prove it. WWE runs their mouth quite as much as Seth freaking Rollins. Yeah, but nobody delivers on their promises like he does either. He's back! when he said, quote, I'm not here to make friends, I'm here to make money. He's facing fierce competition nowadays. Well, listen, Punk's famous for not playing well with others. There are many men who have shaken his hand who now want to be the one who topples the best in the world. Well, they've got to be ready for this brand new version of CM Punk. Already at his peak, but primed and ready to reach new heights. WWE is a different world than when Punk left a decade ago. This company's evolved. Now he must evolve. Punk better evolve. Punk better raise his game. Because nowadays there are many who claim to be the best in the world. The WWE's Apex Predator is on the hunt. And 
from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 275 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, the Viper, Randy Orton. You would be hard pressed to find a more sadistic superstar than Randy Orton. This is a superstar who will do whatever it takes to win. Hey, listen, he's called the Apex Predator because he has this undeniable killer instinct. And the results? Well, they speak for themselves. Yeah, simple advice. Don't cross the Viper. One of the all-time greats has seen and done everything there is to do in this business. Career decorated with championship goals. But despite that success, you could also say Randy Orton has carried himself as a very entitled and selfish superstar. Or you can look at the reality that Randy Orton worked hard and earned every bit of it. The Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre, has arrived. The fight is about to start. We have learned that wherever McIntyre goes, brutality follows. Right now, it is McIntyre who is leading the WWE Universe into battle. Scottish warrior prepared for battle. You know, Drew McIntyre arrived and he was the chosen one. Handpicked by WWE Chairman Mr. McMahon. And Drew will admit that he became complacent. Felt like he didn't have to work hard to get to the top. He went away. He got a new attitude. And now he's back bigger and badder than ever with a vengeance. Yeah, this new attitude from Drew McIntyre dictates he will take whatever he wants. Make way for the head of the table. I think we can all agree we are seeing a once-in-a-lifetime competitor. And representing the bloodline from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, Roman Reigns! I've been this table for decades and I've never seen a competitor this dominant. Month in, month out, Reigns continues to dominate. <laughs> yeah, but think about this, Corey. The man who finally puts a loss in Roman's it's record immortal. will become immortal. It's bold of you to think he'll even lose. Well, even with the competition at this level, you might be right. A record-breaking champion, an unbeatable competitor. 
And Roman looks more determined than ever. That's why every time Roman competes, it is a history-making moment. Okay, let's get this match going. Detroit has seen it all over the years, guys, and I'd say this match will likely be right up there with some of the best. Probably not going to win for a couple hundred years, Byron. You know why? Because the Billy Goats curse is in effect. Oh, I can't stop. to the competition with that one. Gets the shoulder up. He's not even close to being done yet. He's cranking the head. Oh, stop right to the hand. You want to control the tempo. You want to dictate the pace. That right there is how you do it. This going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. Trying to take away that grip, that range of motion on that end. Jump and suplex released. Watch this display of power. Sit out power ball. Rollins got caught believing his own hype a bit. Yeah, Drew looks pretty confident with his attack there. Slam! What impact. Scoop slam. Orton lining up his opponent carefully. Each of those boots seem to get heavier with each blow. Getting carried. Unsure what they're thinking. Say to the face. Wait a minute, right here. Cover! Two! Just gets the shoulder up. You have to think this battle is starting to weigh down on him. Rhodes letting his opponent know who's in charge. You saw the original. Walking in the sleeper hold and into a neck breaker. Inverted suplex. Looking to crush the hamstring. Oh. Another one. Who won the race? Charlie's horse. Every strike more devastating than the last. Count. 
He's not letting fatigue set in or get the better of him. Straight to the knee. This is it. Now we have Orton. And no, 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 how can that be fair? Come on, Red. Keep these guys in check. Drops the hammer. Right on the lower back. Kelly. Oh, devastating attack from the Viper. Two. That's it. Randy Orton is your winner. Here are your winners. The team of Randy Orton, Drew McIntyre, and Roman Reigns. These three have to be happy with their performance here tonight. It's always great to visit the pay window, but a victory like this makes the winner's purse all that much sweeter.